everybody. How you doing today? Good to see you again. Um, today I'm going to make a uh, macaroni bake. Uh, this dish uh, was from a recipe from the 70s. Um, I kind of tweaked it a little bit because um, I like it a little bit more spicy and I like to add uh, bacon. But what you'll need is just a box of uh, corkscrew or rotini uh, macaroni. Okay? And two uh, ten and a half ounce cans of cream of mushroom soup and an onion, a pepper. These are the same. These are um, canned mushrooms. One's in a jar, one's in a can. It's the same stuff. And uh, or you can use fresh mushrooms. This is what I could use this time. Um, can of the Rotel diced tomatoes. I get mine with the diced. Um, habanero peppers in it, so it's really hot. And then uh, I got some ketchup on hand, just in case I need to add it. Um, I'm really using this instead of ketchup, but if it's not enough, I might need to add a little bit of ketchup. Also, bacon. We're going to start by frying this off until it's crispy. And then uh, we have cubed ham, already cooked. So we're going to bake that into this. And then uh, you don't need this much cheese. I got a um, sharp shredded cheese because I'm lazy today. It's my one day off. Back to work tomorrow, so it's already shredded, ready to go. And um, I might only use half this. Uh, this is four cups, so two cups should should do it. So anyway, let's get started and make this classic dish my way. And uh, oh, where did I hear that before? Um. I'll be right back and we'll start cooking. Okay, once your uh, bell pepper, diced bell pepper has uh, cooked for say about two or three minutes, just until it's, uh, you know, halfway done, now you can add your diced white onion or you can use yellow onion if if you don't want it as strong it's up to you I just don't want my onions to burn because the peppers take a little bit longer to cook and stir that up and let them cook down all right next I want to add um, mushrooms to mine and I had canned mushrooms so I'm using these but um, I prefer fresh mushrooms but uh, we're gonna use these today and if you don't like mushrooms leave them out you don't have to use them I like them so that's why I'm putting them in and just let this continue to uh, cook until all the vegetables are uh, nice and soft till the onions are uh, translucent Okay, now it's time for me to go ahead and put in about 8 ounces, which is a half a pound of uh, diced ham. It's already cooked, already cut, easy. We're making life easy today, it's my day off. I'm going to stir that in, just warm up the ham. In this case, the mushrooms are already done too, so we're just warming them up. In a moment, we're going to add our um, cream and mushroom soup. Okay, now add two ten and a half ounce cans of cream of mushroom soup. And don't add any liquids at all, no water. Okay, and I'll scrape the cans out in a minute. But you want to mix this all together. Okay, when this is all uh, bubbly and mixed like this, you can go ahead and add your uh, Rotel. And again, this is uh, diced tomatoes, and I've got mine with uh, habaneros in it. And we're going to mix that right on in.
Next, I would add about a, say about a quarter cup, or maybe a half cup of uh, plain old ketchup. Okay, next I'm going to put in shredded cheese over the top, just like that. Maybe about a, I'd say about a cup, cup and a half. Eh, maybe more like two cups. Okay. And we're going to mix that in until it's all nice and melted. Okay, this sauce came out perfect. This is just the way I want it. Just this consistency here. And uh, we're going to set it aside in a bowl while I cook the pasta because I have to use the same pan. And uh, after I cook the pasta, we'll put this together and get it in the oven. Okay, I've cooked about, uh, say about nine or ten ounces of corkscrew macaroni. And I made it so that it is not completely cooked. It's almost cooked but you don't want it chewy or crunchy or nothing like that but you don't cook it all the way and this time you do rinse it in cold water to stop the cooking process it's going to be baked so it's going to absorb this sauce that we made we're going to mix it all together until everything's evenly mixed just like this we're going to transfer it into these bowls and bake it. I'll be right back to show you once we get that done. Okay, y'all. Um, this made four large Pyrex uh, baking dishes full, which is very nice. We're going to bake these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes until um, this cheese is uh, brown. We're going to top it with... Uh, some of this shredded cheddar cheese, just like this. And we didn't forget the bacon. That goes on the top. You can even uh, put that on afterwards so it doesn't burn. You just take one piece of bacon, crispy and crumble it on after it's done cooking. We're going to pop these in the oven. I have a toaster, a large toaster oven, but I think I can do these like two at a time. I might wrap these up and put them in the refrigerator and then I have lunch for another day. So um, we'll be right back when they're all done so we can try it. Okay, it's time to go ahead and uh, out of the oven now. Oh, they look so good. You can see them bubbling. And they're nice and brown. And I'm going to let it cool down for just a minute. And then I can uh, taste it. And these two, I wrapped up in aluminum foil and put them away. And we have dinner for another day with no work. So uh, I'll be right back. We'll taste this. Oh god, this looks so good. I um, crumbled up the bacon on the top, as you can see right there. I'm gonna go right in and get some of the, uh, the cheese and the sauce. You can see, it's a meal in itself. It has vegetables, it has your meat, your uh, macaroni. It's even got soup in it. And it's spicy. Mine is anyway. You don't have to make it spicy. But, um, man, that is so good. And the, uh, the macaroni is now fully cooked and it's not mushy. It does not fall apart. It finished cooking in here. So, uh, try this. Mm, sugar. It does not cost a lot of money. It goes a long way. Has a lot of flavor. And hey, it's easy to make. Make it on your day off. 
and then you got lunch for the rest of the week. Hey, I'm Clyde in Jacksonville, Florida. Take care, y'all.